Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder. The fight we actually wanted to see before Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder, before Uzik versus AJ. This was the main fight we wanted to see. And anybody who says I'm lying, you're lying yourself. This fight we've been waiting for for five years. Yeah. Five years in the making. Yeah. We wanted to see this fight. Yeah. And now, in 2023, we're about to see this amazing fight happen. Damn right. Are you guys excited? Yeah. I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Yeah. I'm not going to lie. This fight is interesting and it's very important for one reason. Because if Anthony Joshua beats Deontay Wilder, then everybody who said Tyson Fury is the greatest heavyweight since, what, Muhammad Ali? When Tyson Fury beat Deontay Wilder, everybody put him above Anthony Joshua. Everybody didn't even care. They don't care about, they all said Wilder was a bum. Wada was a bum before he fought Tyson Fury. They said Wada had, you know, Wada didn't fight anybody. Who did Wada beat? And to this day, they're still saying that. But when Tyson Fury beat Deontay Wada, they all said Tyson Fury is the greatest heavyweight of all time. Did they not say this? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they said this. Mm -hmm. So now, if Anthony Joshua beats Deontay Wada, what, is you, what are you guys going to say? What's there to say? So is Anthony Joshua now, what, the best heavyweight of all time since Muhammad Ali? Because I remember everybody was saying, oh man, if Deontay Wilder fights Anthony Joshua, he getting knocked out in the first round. He getting knocked out in the second round. You know, everybody was saying this. Of course. But now, this year, all the debates, all the arguments, are going to come to an end. It's finished. There's no more debate who was better, AJ or Wada. Look at their resumes. Look who they fought. Okay, if Deontay Wada beats Anthony Joshua, then Wada's resume, um, everybody, all the 40 cab drivers that Wada fought, it now gets removed. He ultimately, being Anthony Joshua, what he does to his resume is that he certifies his resume. Because Anthony Joshua actually beat good fighters. He beat Andy Ruiz, he beat Takam, he beat Joseph Parker, he beat Povetkin, he beat Kubrat Pulev, he beat Klitschko. So he beat some killers. So by Deontay Wilder knocking out Anthony Joshua, that will ultimately remove every single 40 cab drivers that Deontay, Deontay Wilder beat. Mm -hmm. Because Deontay Wilder fought about 39 cab drivers. So, this fight is good because Anthony Joshua ultimately beating Deontay Wilder will expose Tyson Fury, but Deontay Wilder beating Anthony Joshua will redeem his resume. Because we don't know if Wilder's a certified killer. We don't know. Because of all those fights he had with that, like with Lewis Ortiz and um, who else? Bermain Stavern. When we, when we all knew those guys were not on his level. But Anthony Joshua, a lot of people have been saying he's not mentally there anymore. He, he lost his mental. He lost his mind. He doesn't have the, the same eye of the tiger. So we're going to see if Anthony Joshua is going to bring out that eye of the tiger. Because Wada and Anthony Joshua, they've been talking a lot of rubbish. They over the past years, this this fight has been brewing. Because Wada Wada said a lot of stuff and AJ has said a lot of stuff. But AJ's kept it a bit more, you know, reserved and a bit more, you know, media friendly. But you know, Wada's been speaking that rubbish. Like I I will destroy Anthony Joshua. I will knock him out. But now this is a fight that's gonna redeem both of them. Whoever wins this fight is going to redeem their whole career. Because Anthony Joshua lately has been... Man, after that Uzik performance, and he had that, that speech, I'm only 18 stone. After he had that big speech, man, that messed him up. That really put his career on a... On a, on a where's AJ going to go? Deontay Wilder, after losing to Tyson Fury in the first fight, everybody says, man, he's a warrior. 
And even Deontay Wada losing to Tyson Fury, getting knocked out by the pillow-fisted Tyson Fury. Remember? He said he's pillow-fisted, remember? But he still got the respect that he deserved for going in there and being a warrior. A lot of people say Anthony Joshua is not a warrior. He doesn't like to, you know, risk it all. He doesn't like to take risk. But this fight is good because both of them, Anthony Joshua is going to be forced to take risk because a fighter like Deontay Wada, if you're going to go there half-hearted, he's going to knock you out. Wada's a bully fighter. He likes to bully his fight. He likes to, to, to bully you. He likes to get you in the ring and knock you out. So AJ is going to be forced to have to knock him out. It's either, Wada's the kind of fighter, either I'm going to get knocked out or you're going to get knocked out. But we're both, one of us is not going to go to see the final belt. That's how Deontay Wilder fights. AJ's kind of like, but lately his performances are like, you know what? I'm going to try and pit like 80% of, 80, 80 in the work, but I'm, I'm gonna, I don't want to get knocked out. I, I, I can give it, but I can't receive it. So with a fight with Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua's going to have to be forced to have a fight. But Anthony Joshua beating Deontay Wilder He's going to make everybody who said Tyson Fury was the greatest heavyweight of all time. Remember, remember they said this when, I'm, when, Deontay Wad, when Tyson Fury beat Deontay Wilder, they said Tyson Fury was the greatest heavyweight. So if Andrew Joshua goes there and pummels Deontay Wilder in the first round, or just pummels Deontay Wilder, then everything that Tyson Fury has built, it kind of goes, it gets thrown in the bin. And then Tyson Fury is going to have to either fight Usyk or fight Anthony Joshua himself to redeem him. To redeem his whole career because this part ever since Tyson Fury came back 2018 he, he fought Deontay Wilder but people were still saying Deontay Wilder is not proven he hasn't fought anybody so when Deontay Wilder fought Tyson Fury everyone was saying well he had a three year layoff well he's a bum he can't box so you're telling me that, I'm, that Tyson Fury is the greatest hero of all time because he beat a fighter who could only punch but couldn't box but people are giving him credit. And we haven't seen him in the ring with anybody, any other heavyweight. So Anthony Joshua beaten. I want to see what people are, are people going to give Anthony Joshua credit or they're going to take it away. And if you don't give Anthony Joshua credit for this fight, then you can't give, you can't give Tyson Fury credit. You can't give Tyson Fury credit because you didn't want to give, you don't want to give Anthony Joshua credit for beating Wada. So you can't give Tyson Fury credit because Wada couldn't box. Wada only had a right hand. So, are people going to give Anthony Joshua the credit? And if they don't give him the credit, then they're going to be forced to have to not give Tyson Fury credit. And then that's going to have to force Tyson Fury to either fight Anthony Joshua or Uzik. Because his whole career is going to be in shambles. Because what has Tyson Fury been saying this whole time? Man... And if Anthony Joshua steps, steps in the ring with Deontay Wilder, he knocks him out in the first round. He knocks him out. Everybody been say Tyson Fury been really saying that. Tyson Fury been saying that. And now Tyson Fury is going to get in the ring with Andy Ruiz. And nobody wants to see that. I mean, if you want to see that, I just want to know, do you think Andy Ruiz is a tougher opponent than Usyk? I just want to know. Put in the comment section if you want to see Andy Ruiz versus Tyson Fury and you think Andy Ruiz is a tough opponent for Tyson Fury. Please. The flat-footed guy. You think that he's going to give Tyson Fury problems? Fury's going to jab and jab and move, jab and move. And that's it. That, uh, we might see a 12-round fight. Listen. I'm not going to lie. This fight is important for boxing. This fight is a fight we've been waiting for for so long. And now we're finally, get to, we're finally gonna get to see this. And it's gonna shut up a lot of people. Because, but you know what's amazing about Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder? You know what's amazing about this fight? Is that Anthony Joshua, either, he, he was, he's either gonna get credit or he's not gonna get credit. And Deontay Wilder is gonna get credit. For it, like, even if he loses, he still wins because Wilder, like, like he's a warrior. Everybody saw his heart against Tyson Fury. But the good thing about this fight is that both fighters are gonna have to give something before that before the fight is over. Anthony Joshua, he can't try to survive in that fight. 
That's what Tyson Fury had to do against Deontay Wilder in the first in the first match they had, and he ended up catching that right hand. And then Tyson Fury got hit by that right hand. And Tyson Fury is a he's a pure boxer. He's he 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 can move his head. Anthony Joshua doesn't move his head as good as Tyson Fury, and he still got hit. So best believe Deontay Wilder at some point in the fight will catch AJ. And if AJ's going to try and knock Wilder out, he definitely is going to have to, you know, take a punch to, to, to even get in the same, like, space as Wilder. And we saw what Hellenius tried to do when he tried to run up on Wilder. He got hit with that right hand, he went down. So if AJ try and, like, you know, I'm just going to go with that force out like I did against Klitschko, that could, be, that, that could do him a disservice. But this is the great thing about this fight, is that, if Anthony Joshua doesn't get credit for this fight, then you have to. Then Tyson Fury's career is going in the going in the window. It's going out. Of the, it's going in the bin. It's going out of the window. Because if you don't give credit for for AJ beating Wada, then you can't give Tyson Fury credit. And then if you don't, and then then what happens? Then then you just wasted. Then the only per- person who gets credit is ultimately Usyk. So this is going to be interesting. Because Tyson Fury is yet to fight a fighter that we think can beat him. Like, be honest. Like, did you really think Dylan White was going to beat Tyson Fury? Did you think Derrick Zero was, for the third time was going to beat Tyson Fury? And did you think in the third fight, Deontay Wilder was going to beat Tyson Fury? This is why... Anthony Joshua versus Wilder is so important right now because it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna show if Tyson Fury is really, like that good, because if Anthony Joshua blasts out Deontay Wilder, then was, it's gonna leave the heavyweight division in a, such a confused state that it's never been in before, because everybody's saying Anthony Joshua is not mentally there, Anthony Joshua Joshua is mentally he's not he's. A mental block has happened. So imagine this guy with with this mental block dispatches the bronze bomber, the the, the most feared in the division. Imagine I'm the most feared. I'm the bronze bomber. When I'm in the ring, you're not talking to me. You're talking to the bronze bomber. Imagine he beats that guy. Imagine. Can you imagine? Just, this fight is important. This fight is very important. So we're going to see. It's going to answer a lot of questions. That's what I'm going to say. And this fight is exciting. This fight cannot go to, this fight cannot see the final bell. If this fight sees the final bell, then either Deontay Wilder didn't land his right hand, well, Anthony Joshua literally ran a, like he was not trying to exchange. So this fight is exciting, and I know it's gonna happen this year. I have that. I just have that feeling it's gonna happen. AJ has been hinting the fight is gonna happen. So, so Anthony Joshua beating Deontay Wilder means that Tyson Fury has to fight Anthony Joshua because if you're the greatest heavyweight of all time. And no one can beat Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder is the second best heavyweight. And then now, I think he deems Anthony Joshua as the third best heavyweight. And now he beats the second best. Now you're going to have to fight AJ. And But Uzik's in the picture. Everybody knows Uzik Uzik is right now is the best heavyweight in the world. Everybody knows this. But this, in 20, this fight in 2018 was the fight we wanted to see. It was the fight we wanted to see. It was when they were undefeated, when we fought, when we, we literally looked at these people like idols, as if no one could beat them. It's like the only people that could beat Anthony Joshua was Tyson Fury. If, uh, the only person who could beat Tyson Fury was Deontay Wilder or Anthony Joshua. You know what I mean? We, only those, the free trio, the free dragons. That's how we saw these people. That's how we saw them. Then Uzik came into the picture. Then Andy Ruiz came into the picture. This fight is important. I hope that Terence Crawford and Errol Spence fight gets made after this, but I don't think it will. 
I honestly believe like Evo Spence and Terence Crawford, they're not trying to like come to some sort of agreement. They they think that they're too good for each other when the reality is they both need each other. But Deontay Wilder, after getting knocked out brutally, now comes to the understanding that he needs Anthony Joshua. And that he, he, he fought he went to Tyson Fury because he thought, man, I'm trying to I'm trying to prove to AJ that I don't I don't I don't I'm the A side. You know what I mean? I am the big dog. I I deserve more. And then Tyson Fury ended up knocking him out. And now he's come to that conclusion like hey, AJ, listen, let's let's give the fans the fans the fight the fans let's give the fight the fans want. After getting knocked out. The only one that has to get knocked out, knocked out, brutally, cold, flat, for him to go and say, listen, I'm ready to fight AJ, because I've been knocked out, and what can be worse than getting knocked out? And now, you have the fight. But AJ's also been stopped. AJ, Andy Ruiz clocked on his head. So, if, if Andy Ruiz can do that, Best believe if Wada gets the, the enough gets that mom, the, gets that opportunity, he's gonna take he's gonna lick AJ's head off. Exactly. So don't be overlooking Wada. Like one one like one thing with the heavyweight division is that one shot can change the whole trajectory of the fight. So best believe if that fight if <laughs> one punch is gonna is like is like um about eight lightweights throwing a 50 or 500 punches so it's just gonna be a different a 200 pound plus like plus landing a, a, a landing a, a punch on your skull that that you could die you could die from that so this is the fight let's make it happen it's gonna happen i know it's gonna happen no doubt and it's gonna and it's gonna be interesting to see if anthony anthony joshua will get his credit Deontay Wilder is definitely going to get credit. Even if he loses, he's going to get knocked out. I don't see Deontay Wilder getting beat up for 12 rounds and, and taking it. He's just going to fall. At least he, he's not going to do a Ryan Garcia where he's going to get hit by a body shot and give up. No, he's going to be unconscious. He's he, he's willing to go out and he's showed. He's shown it. Now, we don't know about if he's... I don't know if he's willing to do it now. Because right now, AJ has showed a lot of weakness. But have you noticed that now that AJ showed all this vulner vulnerability, now you see Deontay Wilder willing to make the fight. But when AJ was the man, he beat Klitschko, he beat Takam. I don't, I, 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 listen, Wilder, I'm not going to lie. I didn't see you trying, I, you was not trying to call AJ's name like that. I'm not going to lie. But now where AJ's, you know, he's been knocked out. He's shown mental weakness. You know, he's shown that, you know, we've seen the limit that he's in, the limit that he can take it to. And now Wilder's like, yeah, I've been knocked out too. So I know AJ messed up because, <laughs> so let's make that fight. So this fight is a, this fight is probably the most 50-50 fight I've ever seen in boxing. Mm -hmm. Most fights are like 80-20, but then the, the media kind of makes it seem like it's 50-50. But this fight is actually 50-50. Like I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I can see Wilder, Wilder knocking AJ out, and I can see AJ knocking water out so it, it it can definitely happen but i think i think aj has more like aj has more to lose in this fight i think both of them have more to lose because if water doesn't beat aj then essentially your resume has now is it, it's, it's now like all those guys you never fought anybody in your whole career that could do do any threat to you being AJ now removes all that that rubbish. And AJ being Wilder now allows us to know that, yeah, he's up there with Tyson Fury and all that man. Because if you say Tyson Fury is the greatest heavyweight, then you have to put AJ there because the best the best fighter currently on Tyson Fury's resume is Wilder. Because Klitschko beat AJ... So if you're not gonna say, if you're not gonna say it's not Klitschko, then you gotta say it's Wada. And then Wada, now Wada's now AJ beat Wada. So now what are you gonna say now? Literally, what are you gonna say if AJ does goes there and licks out Wada? What are you gonna say? Oh well, Tyson Fury already knocked him out. Uh, I could not see the excuses. A AJ's not gonna get credit for this fact if he knocks out Wada. But you see, if Wada knocks out AJ. Hey, no, hey, hey. <laughs> I can see people making excuses for like saying, "Oh, well, well, AJ wasn't the same," but no one's gonna like, no one's gonna try and like, you know, entertain that. Wada will get his credit. 
But AJ, you, you like you could knock out Wilder for sure. Usyk was just too. He just moved. He he was just a different. But Wilder's not gonna move like Usyk. So he's he's gonna stand right in front of you. He's not gonna be doing that much moving. Hey, be sure to like my video, like, comment, and subscribe. Johnny Goodman, I'm out.